ദീക്ഷ വീഡിയോ ലെസൺ ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ ദീക്ഷ വീഡിയോ ലെസൺസിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന ടോപ്പിക് റേഡിയൽ നർവ് ആണ് റേഡിയൽ നർവ് നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു എസ് സി ടോപ്പിക് ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടിയാണ് ആദ്യം അതിൻ്റെ ഫോമേഷൻ പിന്നെ അതിൻ്റെ റൂട്ട് വാല്യൂ കോഴ്സ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ബ്രാഞ്ചസ് ആൻഡ് അലാസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്ലിനിക്കൽ കോറിലേഷൻ എന്നീ ഒരു പാറ്റേണിലാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ആൻസർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് സോ മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് റേഡിയൽ നർവ് The radial nerve is a continuation of posterior cord of brachial plexus in the axilla. It is the largest nerve of the upper limb and largest branch of brachial plexus. It arises from all the roots of brachial plexus. So its root value is C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. Next we are going to discuss about its course distribution and its branches. After its formation in the axilla it lies posterior to the third part of axillary artery where it gives the following branches they are posterior cutaneous nerve of arm nerve to the long head of triceps and nerve to the medial head of triceps the posterior cutaneous nerve of arm gives sensory innervation to the skin on the back of the arm up to the elbow After giving these three branches in the axilla the radial nerve then enters the arm at the lower border of the cuirass major it then reaches the spiral groove after passing through the lower triangular space along the propnea brachii artery in the spiral groove the radial nerve gives five branches they are lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm nerve to the lateral head of triceps nerve to the medial head of triceps and nerve to the anconius the lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm gives sensory innervation to the skin on the lateral surface of the arm up to the elbow whereas the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm gives sensory innervation to the skin down the middle of the back of the forearm up to the wrist the radial nerve then at the lower end of the spiral groove pierces the lateral intermuscular septum of the arm and then enters the anterior compartment of the arm here above the lateral epicondyle the radial nerve gives the following branches they are nerve to brachialis nerve to brachioradialis and nerve to extensor carpal radialis longus at the level of lateral epicondyle of humerus the radial nerve terminates by dividing into superficial and deep branches in the lateral part of the cubital fossa The deep branch of the radial nerve is known as the posterior interosseous nerve which in the cubital fossa gives branches to the extensor carpi radialis brevis and this and to the supinator. After giving these two branches in the cubital fossa the posterior interosseous nerve enters the forearm and supplies all the extensor muscles of the forearm. It also gives articular branches to the distal radial nerve joint. wrist joint and carpal joints the superficial branch of radial nerve is sensory it runs downwards over the superior pronated teres and flexor digitorum superficialis deep to brachioradialis and then passes over the tendons of anatomical snuff box where it terminates as cutaneous branches which provides sensory innervation to skin over the lateral part of the dorsum of hand and dorsal surfaces of lateral 3 half digits proximal to the neighbors so these are its course distribution and its branches so next we are going to discuss about its clinical correlation the radial nerve may be injured at three sites in the axilla in the spiral groove and at the elbow first we are going to discuss the case in the axilla in the axilla the radial nerve may be injured by the pressure of the upper end of crust also known as crust palsy the clinical features related here are first one is wrist drop it is due to the loss of extension of wrist because of the paralysis of wrist extensors there are also loss of extension of elbow loss of extension of digits and loss of supination here, here we can also see the sensory loss next is the second case which is the injury in the spiral groove 
this may be due to the mix of fracture of humerus or due to the direct pressure on radial nerve by a drunkard falling asleep with his one arm over the back of the chair which is also known as the saturday night paralysis the clinical features related to this injury are wrist drop which is due to the loss of extension of wrist then loss of extension of fingers loss of supination and sensory loss and the third case is the injury at the elbow here we have to know about the radial tunnel syndrome it is an entrapment neuropathy of the deep branch of the radial nerve at elbow the compression of radial nerve at elbow may be due to the following reasons like fibrous band and sharp tenuous margin of extensor carpi radialis brevis which compresses the deep branch of the radial nerve the clinical features here are the loss of extension of the wrist and fingers but no wrist drop and here pain over the extensor aspect of the forearm is also seen so these are about the clinical correlation so far we have discussed about the course distribution branches and the clinical correlation of the radial nerve to sum up the radial nerve is the nerve which supplies the posterior compartment of the arm and the extensor compartment of the forearm when saying about its sensory supply it supplies the skin on the back of the arm and to the skin on the lateral surface of the arm and to the skin down the middle of the back of the forearm up to the wrist and it also supplies the skin over the lateral part of the dorsum of hand and dorsal surfaces of lateral 3/2 digits proximal to the knee buds